and welcome to Awkward Bob Reviews and How-Tos. On today's video we're going to be talking about the Google Chromecast. This is the third generation Google Chromecast and we're going to show you how to set it up. Now I already do have a, a video for Google Chromecast set up from the second generation. You can find that video right up here or down in the description. But uh, we're going to go ahead and go through the setup process of the third generation Google Chromecast. Let's get started. All right, before we get into the setup, uh, these are some of the things that you can cast directly from your device to the Google Chromecast. You don't have to have a smart TV um, to be able to use this. This actually converts your TV that maybe isn't smart into a smart TV. If you already have a smart TV, you can still use this if you want to be able to cast things directly to the TV. If your TV doesn't maybe provide that option, as some don't. But all kinds of different uh, options, things that you can do on your Chromecast. Now let's get started. As you can see, it's a little bit different design. If you've had a previous version of the Chromecast, it's a little bit smoother, a little nicer um, design. They took away that the old uh, magnet style setup. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and go through the process of setting up. Let's see what else is in the box here. All right, of course you have your power brick. I personally do not use this. Now this is this is a preference thing. Let's see if I can get that out. This is a preference thing. I don't personally use the power brick. When I plug the USB cable in, I'll plug it directly into the back of the TV where there is a USB slot. But you can use this power brick and just plug it directly into the wall. All right, this should be the USB cable. And it is. All right, so first things first, um, you can go through the instructions if you, if you would prefer, but I'm gonna take you through basically the entire setup. First things first is you're going to find the place to plug in the USB directly to the Chromecast like so and it should snap should be very secure the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this HDMI cable that's connected to the Chromecast and plug it directly into an HDMI spot, uh, slot on your TV so let's go ahead and do that all right so now we're going through the setup process uh, as you can see we have this power plugged into the Chromecast we're going to take the HDMI cable. Um, you can see we have a free HDMI slot here, so I'm just going to plug that right in. And then we take the other side, and as you can see right here, if you can read it, there is a spot that says USB. You can take the power side of that and plug it right in. Like I said, you can also plug it into the back of your power brick and plug that right into an outlet. Now, I like to save those outlets for something else. So I'm going to use the option of just plugging it right into the back of the TV set, like so. So you have your Chromecast dongle plugged right into HDMI, and the power portion plugged into the USB port on the back of your TV. So let's turn it on. All right, when you first turn on the TV and you put it on the correct input, you're going to get this message to get the app, and that'll be the Google Home app from the Play Store. You can get that both on your Android device or on the uh, on your iOS device. It's the Google Home app. So when you pull it up, when you first pull it up, if it doesn't immediately pop up, it should pop up and say set up this device on the Google Home app. If it does not, what you'll need to do is press this option down in the bottom right. It's the profile option. And then what you'll need to press is set up or add right at the top. So I'm going to click that. And then it's going to give you uh, different options here. We're going to set up device. All right, so it's asking you to set up. All right, so it's asking you what you want to set up. Set up new devices in your home. You'll go ahead and click that option. Um, if you have a home set up, you go ahead and choose that option. I do. Um, and then you'll hit next. And it's looking for new devices. And it should pop up with the Chromecast that we have up on our TV. Let's see if it does. 
Yep, Chromecast 2015. If you'll see in the bottom of your TV right there, Chromecast 2015, that shows you that you have the right device. So you go ahead and click on it, and then you'll click Next. And it's now connecting to the Chromecast. Now, at some point during the setup, it will ask you to connect to Wi-Fi. All right, here's the next setup step. It's asking you to verify that this code right here is also found on the Google Home app. Uh, let's see if it pops up here. Yep, WAR2, WAR2. So it is good to go, so we'll click Yes. Um, and it'll ask you if you want to send feedback. I will not be. And then if you have room set up, at that point it'll ask you where is this located. You can set up a new room here where it says create new, wherever you have it. We're going to put it in the attic. And then hit next at the bottom. And we're going to leave it called Attic 2 just because that's what it named it. You can call it anything. Upstairs TV, downstairs TV, bedroom TV, um, Jerry's TV, whatever you want to call it. We're just going to leave it named Attic 2 just for the setup. We're going to hit continue. And it's going to ask for you to connect to Wi-Fi. So I've got my Wi-Fi there. All right, now it's going to connect to Wi-Fi, and it's going to then connect the Chromecast itself to Wi-Fi. And one of the first things your Chromecast will probably do is, is go out to the Internet and fetch an update. It'll pull down any new um, firmware or any, any new updates that needs to be on your Chromecast. This won't take long. And as you can see in the bottom right now, it says Attic 2 TV. Like I said, if we'd named that anything else, Bedroom TV, Fred's TV, whatever, it, that's what would pop up there. It was named Attic 2. All right, so we've now reached 100% on the update. And it's restarting the device. The first time through, it's going to make sure that all the updates are installed. Okay, so once it's restarted, it'll go through uh, the install process, and it's going to reset one more time. And then it will be just about ready for use. Every time you turn on your TV to that input, this is what's going to pop up. It's going to say Chromecast, just like that. Um, what's cool, too, is that you can use this as kind of like a screensaver. If you want to cast your own images to it, you can. If you want to set up a certain folder from from your Google images to just rotate like a screensaver, you can do that as well. All right, so it's directing us to go back to the Google Home app. And then it's asking to link the Chromecast. You hit Next. Okay, and any services that you currently use on your device, it'll ask if you want to add those. We only really use Netflix and... Um, YouTube, but so we'll hit, click next and we're all done. It says hit continue and it's telling us now that our Attic 2 TV is ready to cast. So we'll hit continue. So let's pull up YouTube and it, this is just showing us how to cast for the first time. So anytime you're watching a YouTube video or Netflix, this option pops up. You will click it. It'll ask you where you want to cast it. We're going to cast it to Attic 2 TV. The cast icon appears. And there you go. It is now playing your YouTube video right on your screen. Now you can also use your tablet to control tablet or device to control the volume. So I'm just going to press down on the volume here and it's actually doing it on the TV. You can also pause your video right from your device. I'm going to hit pause on the tablet. And it stops it exactly where you hit pause. Then I'm going to hit play again. 
and it's going to resume the video. Anytime you're ready to stop, you and hit you hit the cast button right at the top of your screen and you hit stop casting. All right. So even um, once you're done casting, or while you're casting, rather, you can do other things on your device. It, it doesn't stop you from continuing to use your device. All right, and this concludes the setup video for the third generation Google Chromecast. Thanks for watching. If you appreciated this video, go down and give this video a like. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Don't hit, forget to hit subscribe. That's right. If you want more. Nobody uh, likes that button red. Yeah, don't leave the button red. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Make it gray. gray. If you have any questions or comments on the video, please leave them down below. I'd be happy to respond to you. I try to respond to every comment that comes in. If I absolutely can, I will. Um, be on the lookout for more Google tips and tricks. I'm going to do a video very soon. Um, another video on a how-to. So, again, Google Chromecast set up. Thanks for watching. Stay you, awkward. You make it pretty. What? Make the subscribe button pretty. Make the subscribe button a pretty gray.